Yes, I cut all of my hair off. No, I did not think to film it for YouTube. Hey guys, Elle here. Welcome back to Space Case Co. It's been a busy couple of weeks. Um, we did our very first giveaway. If you want to see the results of that, head over to our Instagram. Um, congratulations again to the winner. And I know that I promised you guys on the next episode that we would be talking about um, our predictions for blue chip NFTs. Um, that research is taking me longer than I thought. I really do want to get that episode out for everybody. Um, but I also think that blue chip is a word a lot of people are throwing around right now in the NFT space. I think overall we have to be a little bit more careful with how we use that term. Um, and so I'm really going to make sure that my research is good before I put that episode out. So instead of talking about blue chip NFTs, today we're going to do something fun because it's the beginning of the week. We haven't opened a blind box series in a while and Tokidoki just came out with their Toki Mondo series. It's a series of figures that are part mecha and then part uh, monster. They look really cool, kind of fun for the Halloween season coming up. And so uh, we're gonna open a case of those today. Let's get to it. Okay, and here it is, Toki Mondo. This is a full case of the new Tokidoki Blind Box series. Um, I mentioned before that this series has mechas and monsters. So you can see on the bottom of the box that they have all of the figures listed. There is eight in the in this case again and in the series, and it looks like there's three mecha and five monster figures. Um, obviously, I'm always going for the chase figure. When it comes to this box, I really, really do want the chase figure. He looks like a little cactusy King Kong or something. He looks really cool. Um, but I'm really excited to open this. As always, they do a great job with their packaging. Um, I think I've already spent like 10 minutes alone just looking at this and. <laughs> Checking out all the little figures. It's always such great art on here. Um, so let's uh, let's get this case opened up. All right, full case, eight boxes, and I'm gonna take the time now to uh, cut these tops off because I like to keep the box nice. So let's do that really quick. Okay, here we go. Our eight boxes have been cut open and we are just gonna start opening them up and see what we get. Let's uh, start back here. Box number one. Wouldn't it be awesome if we got the chase figure right off the bat? Oh, and real quick first, as always, there is a little booklet here that should, yep, tell you all of the, all of the characters. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there they all are. So each box is gonna have one of these guys. Where is the pool tab? Aha, it's right there, okay. Number one is, who is this? This is Donatilla. I don't know, let's see what I think about this guy. I like it. I don't know that it's gonna be my favorite in the series. Um, I really like its cute little sneakers down here. That's pretty cool. Definitely a cute little, uh, kind of little details right there with the wings coming off the back. Uh, I like looking at the back of this figure kind of more than the front. I like the rainbow tail and the hair, but I don't know. I think the front is uh, kind of bland. Side view's a little better. Um, I like the little gold horn. So I think it's a cute figure, but it's honestly probably not gonna be my favorite in the series. So we will set that one aside and keep on going. And if we get any doubles, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about them. Fingers crossed that we do not, however. Okay, good, not a double. This one, oh cool, I was, I kind of wanted this one. This one is Atina, um, and she is actually really detailed, and I like her much better than the, than the first figure. Yeah, really cool, I love this little, like actually kind of looks like a little gemstone right there. Lots, obviously, lots going on here with the pink color, um, but pretty cool. The wings back here kind of have a, a shimmery white to them. I wonder if, oh, this one actually kind of is shimmery as well, so. 
Um, that's kind of nice. It's not just, neither of these are like a flat white. It's a pretty, pretty shiny white there. Um, but this is great. Definitely looks like a cute, kind of a little cute version of a transformer, but I like the detail and the paint on this one. Um, like the little Tokidoki uh, logo right there on the ears. So yeah, that's a great figure. Up next, we are going to have, aha, another mecha. Oh, this one is adorable. Look, it's a bear one. Little bear face, what's this name? This is Space Bear 5. I wonder if there's one through four Space Bear. I have no idea, but um, again, great color and great detail on this little, this little mecha transformer guy. Oh my gosh, seriously, there's so many little bear figures here. He's got his bear face. He's got kind of the bear, bear helmet right there. Look at the little, can you guys see that little tiny, I think you, tiny little bear shoes, bear on his shirt. And then I just noticed right here, these are little tiny bears on his hands. Oh, that's adorable. This one's great. Uh, my favorite one so far. Okay, this is our fourth one, which means we're halfway in. No doubles, no doubles, no doubles. Ah, I jinxed myself. I feel like the chances for that uh, uh, chase figure now are a little bit uh, diminished, but here we go. We have another pink uh, transformer. Uh, jinxed myself on that halfway point. Okay, let's keep going. No more doubles. Okay, good. It's a new one. This one is Donatilla. It's a little, little cute version of Godzilla. And actually this one is really cute, a lot cuter than what I thought it was going to look like on the box. Um, the shoes are great. It kind of has that shimmery white down there. Uh, I love all of the, the donut features. And then, oh, the, the donuts on this side are actually colored, so that's really cute. Um, love the truck figure for sure. It says, I think it, yep, it just says donuts on it. Um, but that's super cute. And look at the, the little teeth are so funny. It almost looks like to me that she's got like braces or something. She's got white teeth with like a little, a little pink, <laughs> a little pink line across them. Um, but this is, this is a super cute figure. I really like this one actually. So super glad we got that one. Okay. Three more. What are your guys' guesses? I have no idea what this one is. I'm without even feeling it right here. I'm going to guess it's Sharshimi. We'll see if I'm right. It is not Sharshimi. Well, I tried. Oh yes, this was the one I wanted the most other than the chase figure. So this one right here is um, the King Kicks which definitely makes sense because he's got a cool sneaker for his head and then he's also got some cool sneaks down here for his little shoes. Um, I really wanted this guy, I think. <laughs> I just think he's funny and kind of, it's a, it's, a, it's a good collaboration. There's a huge market out there for sneaker collect collectibles and, uh, and it's also like Godzilla, so it's great. Um, the colors are, are really cool. They're different on this one. There's a lot of pinks in this series. So it's kind of fun to see this guy being so green and with the orange, red, and black uh, uh, details on there. But I like that he's got the little, he's got a little skeleton right there on that tongue uh, that also looks kind of like a little horn. Um, none of these figures move, by the way. They're all stationary. I was hoping his, his mouth is cool because it's kind of open, but it doesn't open all the way. So don't force that. Um, but yeah, super happy. I really, really wanted this guy and I really like this figure. So if you're a, if you're a sneaker or a Godzilla fan, this is the one for sure. Okay, two more, two more, please no double. It might not be totally too late to get that chase figure. Only one double so far. Ah! Oh, I thought it was the bear one. It's not, woohoo, no double, awesome. I really wanted this one as well because this is like the brightest, happiest mecha transformer looking thing I think I've ever seen. I love the, 
the 80s vibes this has going on and it's very colorful. Um, again, I love that use of the shimmery white that they have with the series. All of the white, I think, on most of these characters um, is that kind of shiny white. I don't know how well it's coming across on there, but um, this guy's really cool. I like that he has um, a lot of unicorn-esque features. Looks like he's got a unicorn helmet there with eyes and this horn. Um, and then he, all these kind of little wings just look like, kind of like little unicorn, like a unicorn transformer collaboration. Um, but this one's really cool. I'm really glad that we got this one. We have one more to go. Who's it gonna be? Do you think it could be Sharshimi? or get really lucky and get the chase figure. I'm gonna go with Sharshimi on this. I'm not feeling like the chase is coming our way. Aha, it is, it's Sharshimi. This one's hilarious. It's a, it's a shark sashimi. <laughs> That's kind of hard to say. Um, this guy's funny and actually quite different from the rest of the series, I think. Uh, it's, yeah, the detail on it is, is great. There's your little kind of sashimi or nigiri, nigiri guys either got, I don't know, that's salmon or tuna on the back there. I like the little fin and he's wrapped in seaweed. He's got a little, little angry face like, I'm gonna eat you, you're not gonna eat me type. And look at his shoes, that's hilarious. His shoes, look, they're also little sashimis. That's so funny, there's rice on the bottom and then it looks like a little, whatever little fish this is and it still has the cute little seaweed wrap right there. That's great. Um, yeah, cool figure. And the, the, the fish part on the back right here is kind of translucent, so um, I like that. But it's definitely different, I think, than the rest of what we've opened. So taking a look again really quick at the box. So we got every figure except that chaser, no. <laughs> but uh, that's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with what we got. And um, I really like all of these figures. It's hard for me to pick a favorite. To be honest, it's either, it's, it's probably a tie between these two. These two are my favorite right here in the series. They're very different, I picked. I guess this one can be my favorite mecha character and this one can be my favorite monster character, but um, really cool series. Go check them out, you guys, it just came out. And once again, Tokidoki crushed it. What a cool series. Um, I'm always looking for blind box series to come out. They're one of my favorite things to open and I am pretty particular about them. I know that you can get blind boxes kind of anywhere nowadays, but I'm kind of picky when it comes to my blind boxes and uh, Tokidoki delivered uh, yet again. I wanna know what your guys' favorite figure was from this series, so please let me know in the comments below. And I've got some other exciting things that I want to unbox with you guys. I also wanna get out that blue chip uh, NFT episode, so I'm not quite sure which one we're gonna do next. Um, but uh, if you liked this video, if you got value out of it, please hit that like button, please subscribe to our channel. Our next giveaway, by the way, is going to be happening at 500 subscribers, so hopefully we'll get there soon. And as always, thanks again, everybody. Have a great week.